Okay, it's time for my little walk around the house with the device. People requested I do this. So anyway, it, it's um, a long story about the walk around the house in bare feet. But uh, when I get a project that looks like it's kind of like a self-runner, it shouldn't be running, then I do this walk just to commemorate a project of long ago. And it was done with a guy that walked around his house with bare feet to show that there was no hidden power source, that it was just self-running. We later on figured out how he had hidden a battery or a super cap in the device, but uh, it was a very interesting project. We all learned a lot from it, but uh, frustrating. But anyway, this is my little uh, walk around the house with the bare feet. It's, summer, it's winter, so I got socks on. It's too cold for bare feet, but this is my little device that uh, I've been playing with. It's a, it's just a pulse motor. That's all it is. Running on a, a two and a half volts, stored up in a 2.7 volt 10 farad super cap, complementary transistor blinker circuit, LED blinker circuit, and uh, this time I've got it running on a, a bobbin of 30 gauge magnet wire, measures about 10 ohms. But yeah, yeah. I uh, yesterday I played around with this again and used a um, fine wire coil for that, and got it to run on the um, the classic uh, complementary transistor circuit that all my long long runners run on, and uh, it ran really good on that, and it ran with real real low amp draw. So I'll probably convert this to a fine wire coil, and. Uh, use that that transistor circuit that i'm i've been so successful with it's run for years and years but anyway this was the the famous walk around the house that uh, the romero project the Mueller dynamo project um was famous for This is also for Granddad to show that my table is just as messy as your table. <laughs> I'm very proud of the mess, but out of that mess comes stuff like this. It's amazing how that works. By the way, up there are still all of the um, all the non-stop running devices. I've got them all now running uh, all the time. Over the course of six years, I found out what caused them to stop bit by bit and worked out the bugs, and now they all just run. They run all the time. Very rarely do I have to stop and play with them or do anything with them. But uh, this was the latest one right here is this uh, cardstock motor. That uh, This one I made out of a little thicker cardboard, but you could uh, print it up on a printer distribute it out people could build it up and then uh, if I made a little um, circuit board card for the components you could put that in the box too and that would be part of the project but uh, that's it for today thanks for watching